it's easy to do, just drop Dalglish back okay, well, in Okay, well, let's talk hole. about some of the names that aren't going to make it then. You, you, I mean, you, Quentin right. you put in there, so Stable is a name that you... you right, you Stable with 20 goals. But yeah. you're not, he, he's, he's not a contender at this no. point now. And I think the other one was Trevor Ford, 23 Trevor goals. Ford, yeah. Terrific. Yeah. I played with Trevor Ford at Sunderland. I played against him. My God, he was tough and he was a good header of a ball and fast and could score goals. And brave. Absolutely. So, but but not, in, not, not, not here. Joe Jordan? Same. Same. Strong, yeah. aggressive, scored goals. I think the only brave. one we haven't really discussed all that much. Gilzine was quite good too. But Alan I think Gilzine. And yeah. McCoist. But I, I talk about Riley still yeah. because his yeah. record. I mean, one goal every one and a half games, Peter. I mean, yes, I'll stick some beat next yeah. one, you know. Can't argue with the results, can you? Uh, yeah, we haven't got him in the frame. I mean, personally, I would go for Lord Dalgleish. That would be my so own choice. Uh, Didn't you pick that once as a Scotland manager? Yes. I think you did. Yeah, when I, mean, I gave Kenny his early cast. Yes. Dennis was out in the World Cup. And I brought him back. Didn't you? Yes. And it worked. Well, we qualified for the World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. So and there's proof that it and works. And they were great together. Because. Law was Douglas's idol. Mm -hmm. He idolised Dennis. Mm. Mm. And they just, well, as you said earlier, uh, did they click? They, you know, or did they click almost immediately. That one did. Right, so what have we got? We've got three here now then. We've got Dal Gleish and Law, and I think Ian Rush keeps coming into the scenario purely and simply because he's a gold machine, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, he is. Well, yeah. I just think, it, you know, you look at Dal Gleish and Rush, they played with Liverpool for 15 years, yeah. scored goals. Yeah. Yeah. They went off to their countries, scored goals. Yeah. I'm not sure if Dennis, I know Tommy picked Dennis and Doug Leash. Uh, I'm not sure of that, but for 15 years and I'm the manager of the team, I'll yeah. be very happy oh, you can't argue with, with them two, Doug Leash and Rush. Sure. Yeah. That's a fair point. Yeah. I'm playing Doug Leash in, he gives us, a, if we've got a problem, mm -hmm. two wingers push on, mm. you drop Doug yeah. Leash back in the, yeah. into the middle yeah. two. You've got a 4 3 mm. 3 situation, or 4 3 3 situation. Could you go Doug Leash, Rush, and Law? Going back to the other scenario of taking somebody else, sacrificing elsewhere in the team, you would, would well, you be prepared to do that at this stage? I, I, I go with the Law and Dalglish on, on a two. If you want to drop Dalglish deep on a three, you do it that way. Uh, you play with two wingers and you play with three midfield players with Dalglish in there. We'll leave but, it to you, Tom, to put your arm around Dave McKay and say you're out, son. But the, the final one... I'll I, tell him that Richard Keyes said that uh, <laughs> he told me that <laughs> you're not in, David. My, my, my compensation is I've got Rush on the bench, You've got Rush on the bench. Yes. Ready to go in. Imagine opposition sitting watching the bench. That's well, right. he, he might come on. Yeah. <laughs> and Londo Leash has only scored a hat trick in the first half. Right. <laughs> a young Rush. That's the quite bench. something, isn't it? But Peter wants him in from the start. So are you two going well, to. Well, he would. He's got three walks in already, Peter. I mean, what, what does uh, he want? Come I, on, I, I'm again. going for the two Scots. So am I. You're going for the two Scots? Yes. I'm not biased. No. No. Okay. I'm, I'm happy to go with the three of them. And, yeah. But, you know, as you say, it's. Uh, that is a very, very excellent players, and we've That's even right. not spoken about any. And there's one or two yeah. we've missed out. We've yeah. missed, you know, we haven't talked about Gilzean, Alan Gilzean. You haven't. No. Twelve goals for Scotland. Terrific head of a ball. Yeah, great head of a ball. Good player. Cunning player. As very well, cunning. Crafty one. Clever, yeah. clever player. Fox. Alan Gilzean. The Fox. I really yeah. like Alan. Yeah. Excellent player. Uh, McCoy, you know. Cat, I'm just looking further back again, thinking, goals. you know, Gordon McQueen didn't get a mention as a centre-half, Gordon Strachan didn't get a mention yes. as one of those midfield players. Well, it players. shows you the talent of the sports, and that's why. And then you're talking about Morris Johnson, who scored 14 yes. international yes. goals. Yes. And we haven't discussed Morris Johnson, good player. Did Ali no. McCoy ever do enough at international level to merit? Uh, well, he got 50 caps, he's only 50 caps. 50 caps for Scotland, he's done yeah. I think they're excellent players, you're talking about Morris Johnson so you, and uh, you're talking about Ali McCoy, they never, when, when, when they came to England to play, they never fulfilled what they did well, in Scotland. What, what you've got to say about McCoy you know. is this. For example, McCoy at Rangers level was getting 30 odd goals a season, yeah. but at international level, one in four. Yeah. What about. He never did it at the Let me just confuse it a touch. That, what about Duncan Ferguson, who hasn't yet produced on the international stage? You know, most managers in the Premiership would take him tomorrow, wouldn't they? The court is out, the judge is out yeah. on that yeah. one. I, I, I think the boy, there's no one doubts his ability at all, mm -hmm. but he's still to do it yet. Yes, he has. English football, he hasn't proven anything yet. Football. So he doesn't. Um, Not at the moment. We think he, he, he could. I mean, call him the judge because he's always, he's always on the bench, isn't he? I mean, <laughs> he's always injured or he's suspended. And, uh, to be that's fair, there's problem. some good players yeah. now. He's missed, I believe, you know, to Ferguson, Gahartson, yeah. Arsenal, and Wales. Mm. 
What's wrong with playing gigs through the middle? I believe Duncan Ferguson's mm -hmm. missed the last yes. three seen internationals for yes. Scotland. Yes, there is a there yeah. is a feeling that Ryan Giggs is, is better than in who? that position. Brian Robson, I think, feels that Ryan Giggs' best position is through the middle. Might well be. He's right. another player you I think you see is a magnificent little player. Mm -hmm. I think you say to Giggsy. Out you go and play. Yeah. He's a bit like Bess, you can let him float a bit. Yeah. Alright, let's let's uh, let's go with your initial formation. It's going to be four four two. What is the four, what is the two up front? Well, I go for Lauren Dalglish, personally. Lauren Dalglish. Tom? Mm. I second that, yeah. Tommy Duckerty? Yeah, I second Lauren Dalglish. Goes for Dalglish. Yes, and for no problem. Lauren. I'm uh, happy to go with any and two. In the interest of fair play and democracy, you will go with Dalglish and Lauren up front as well. Yes. Yeah. How many international goals between them? 60? Uh, Lauren Dalglish, 60. Dalglish and Law. All church, 23. That's quite a team. That, that is quite a team. Biff Jones, 15. Let's have a look again. Pat Jennings in goal. We've got Johnny Carey at right back, uh, John Charles, Alan Hansen and Dennis Irwin. George Best, Ivor Oldchurch, Dave Mackay, and uh, Cliff Jones, Dalglish and Law. I'm just looking at Hansen there. Is, 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 is that a, a, a controversial pick when you look at it again? No. No. <laughs> I don't think so. the end of that conversation, isn't it? I just, <laughs> I just like him as a player. That's another Richard. I just like him as a player. I'm and just who, thinking about Belair's 100 who, goals. Who are we going to get to, to, to manage this team? Who would be in charge of this side, Peter? Uh, um, obviously not Terry Venables. No, from the Four Nations. has oh, to be again from those right, Four right. Nations. Um, if, I, if he was still alive, I would go for Jockstein. Because mm. mm. I think he would understand, you know, no respects to Tommy or, or to Billy. Um, but uh, I just think he would understand that, uh, what we spoke about today. And I think he'd be very happy to take that team out of the pitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me. So would we. Well, I'd be very happy to take a team because I've picked it, except for Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> is that virtually your pick? Is that what you started yeah, with? Yes. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. That's what you came in here with, is yes, it? That would be very persuasive, Billy. <laughs> and we, do a, we had a chat in the taxi coming over as well, by the way. Do you know what he has? <laughs> yeah, I know. He has. That is his team. He came in yeah. with that. Yeah. Subs, Kelsey, McGrain, Lawrence and McElroy and Rush he's got in there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Put Rush in for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. Who would manage it? Well, many Scots, many Irish have got in there. Just work that out. And from what decades are they? Where do they come from? What years do they come from, those players? Well, That's the interesting yeah. Point. Well, uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, hey, manager? 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 Jockstein? I go with a different one. I go with Peter Doherty. Peter Doherty? Bill Shankly? Peter Doherty. I would go, I'm going to shock you here. Celtic? No. Peter Doherty? No. The ex manager of Tottenham Hotspur Football Club? Bill Nick. Arthur Rowe. Arthur Rowe. Arthur Rowe, blimey. I, I thought Billy Nicholson there just for a moment as well. Yeah. It's some team you picked, gentlemen. I'm not quite sure that um, I would fancy playing it uh, or lining up in the opposition's uh, 11. Mm. It's, a, it's a terrific team. Uh, Billy Bingham, thank you very much. Peter Nicholas, thank you. And Tommy Doherty, thank you for joining us. Uh, very much enjoyed it, and we'll see you the next time. Goodbye for now.